could somebody who's much younger look to him and say, look, I want to be a Rahul Bajaj, right? So one of the things that my mother writes in the book is that he was a textbook leadership case, as you might see in a business school. But, you know, often what you see in a business school in a textbook is not what you see in the practice. But he was actually, you know, uh, living this um, in the corporate world himself. Now, Sanjeev, somebody as you, you've been to Harvard, he was one of the first people to go to Harvard Business School. Do you see that lessons in leadership that you think can be replicated by not just, you know, others from the outside who might want to see, but also people from your own family, the younger generation, who are also, who might want to get into the business? You know, what I found of him at work, actually it was true in everything he did. Um, one, he was always thoroughly prepared. He never left work till his table was clear. And he never went to bed till he was fully ready for the next day. Even if it was 400 pages of documents for a board meeting the next day, if it was for an event he had to go and make a speech. So he was always thoroughly prepared. Second is, he could argue both points of view. And very often at work that used to exasperate us because we had put forward a point of view. We knew this made sense. He would agree later on, but he had to put the other point of view also. And I can see over a period of time, it was to make all of us in the room make, make sure that we had thought through it properly. So he used to always argue the other point of view. And the third is that once he had evaluated what he thought were possible options and decided on one, he was very confident in how he... Um, went ahead and implemented that. And these are the typical things that we all learned in any good MBA school. But how we applied that was not in any textbook that you can learn. Uh, it came through his own experience. It came through, uh, I think, in his early years.